So, are you ready? Yes. So, so far we have learned what are the dimension of matrices. We have learned what is scale matrix, we learned what is vector and we have learned that we can uh, add matrices and separate matrices as long as they have same dimensions. Okay. So, now we have found to learn about multiplication of matrices that how can we multiply two matrices. Before learning how we can multiply two matrices, let us learn what are the prerequisites of multipl multiplication. You, we cannot multiply any arbitrary matrices, it has to be those matrices has to ha have some specific dimensions. So, assume that I want to uh, multiply a matrix A uh, which has dimension of 2 times 2 uh, with matrix B which also has dimension of 2 times 2. Then I can multiply these matrices because to multiply matrices uh, this, the first matrices column must be the same as the second matrices rows. Remember we have here rows and columns, we have here rows and co columns. First matrices columns must be same as the rows of the second matrix. So, this entry must be same as this entry. They then we can, hmm? they, should be equal. they should be equal. And then we can multiply and our result will be another matrix and the dimension of the resultant matrix will be uh, rows of the first matrix and a column of the second matrix. Make sense? So, the dimension will be these two things. Here we will have 2 and here we will also have 2. Uh, to make it further clear, let us do another example so that everything is crystal clear. Let us say I have matrix C and I want to multiply this matrix with matrix D. Right? And I, in this case, instead of writing some fixed dimensions, some integer, I am writing some variables that can take any value. Right? Let us say, di say dimension of this matrix R n times m. It implies that matrix C has how many rows? n rows and m columns. Right? Because first we also always write rows and second we write columns. And matrix D has uh, m uh, uh, rows and p columns. Now, uh, first question is, can we multiply these yeah, two matrices? So, m and m is same. so, we can multiply these matrices because columns of the first matrix are the same as the rows of the second matrix. Like this thing and this thing is same. So, we can multiply these matrices. Right? And second question is that what will be the dimension of the resultant matrix? What will the result uh, dimension of our answer? So, our answer could be like matrix E and what will the dimension of matrix E? N multiplied by P. So, the dimension of matrix E will be N times P. So, now we have learned the basics and once again we can resort to, the, to some examples. So, in our first example, uh, we have two matrices, let us say matrix A is equals to uh, 1, 1, 1 and 2, 0, minus 1. And obviously, dimension of this matrix is how much? Uh, 2 multiplied by 3. So, 2 by 3 because it has, three. It has 2 rows and 3 columns. So, 2 multiplied. So, these are dimension of this matrix, right? Now, we have now matrix B and matrix B if we want to multiply with matrix A, must have the same number of rows. It can have any number of columns, but the same number of rows. And matrix B is this. It has three rows. So, we have here uh, row number 1, 1, 1 and 2 columns. 1, 1, uh, 2, 1 and 0, uh, minus 1. So, this matrix has dimension how many rows? 3 by 2. 3 by 2. Obviously, we can multiply A with B because columns of A are same as the rows of B and our result C after multiplication will be a vector scale matrix blah blah what it will be. Our, our result C be what kind of matrix? I will take 3, no 2 multiplied by 2, two by 2. So, it will be? 2 rows and 2 columns. So, what kind of matrix it will be? It will be a square. 
it will be a scale matrix. So our answer as uh, C will be 2 by 2, which is a scale matrix. So now what we do is that we take a first row of um, um, A and multiply this with the first column of B. So what we do is that we multiply 1 with 1. So we say 1 times 1, we write everything. And then we say plus. Now we multiply 1 with 2, which is 1 times 2. Well, it is 2, but we will well, we want to write everything. Okay. Just to make everything clear for everybody. Uh, and then we will have one, one, one times zero. Similarly, uh, this will be our first entry. And because with the first row, we have to do every column. So we had we are done first row and first column, this entry. First row and second column. Okay? okay. So what will be like? Uh, one, one times one. One one multiplied by one. One multiplied by one. One multiplied by minus one. One multiplied by minus one, right? And then below we will now. But what, what will be the next step? We're going to multiply the second row with both the columns. Yeah. So if you understand the first step, then the second step is easy. We have to repeat the same process. So now we multiply two, two by, by one. one. Zero by two. Zero by two. Minus one by zero. And uh, uh, plus minus 1 by 0 and similarly we have to multiply the first row of the first matrix with the second column of the second matrix so we have 2 times 1 2 times 1 plus uh, 0 times 1 0 times 1 plus minus 1, one times minus 1 and now obviously we can simplify these terms in because I have very less space left. So I'm going to simplify these things right here. So uh, 1 times 1 will be 1. So here what we have here is 1. And 1 times 2 will be is very difficult. 2. two. And 1 times 0 is going to be 0. zero. And when we add 1, 2 and 0, our answer is going to be Three. So the first, our first entry of the resultant matrix is three. Similarly, we have to solve this. One times one is one. One, and one times one is one. One, and one times minus one is minus one. Minus one, right? So we have one plus one minus one. Now we have to solve this. What's the answer going to be? One plus one is one. No, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, answer going to be 1. So, because 1 times 1 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, answer going to be 1. Uh, one. So, maybe we have to solve this. 2 times 1 is? One. 2. 2. 0 times 2 is? 0. 0 times 2, two is? 0. And uh, minus zero. 1 times 0 is? 0. Anything, anything multiplied by 0 is 0. Yeah. So, uh, here we have 0. And we solve it 2 plus 0 plus 0, 2. Very good, very good. You are very intelligent. Now, 2 times 1 is? 2. 2. And uh, 0 times 1 is? 0. 0. And minus 1 times minus 1 is? When we, when we multiply minus with minus, our result is what is? Plus. plus. So, minus 1 times minus is 1. Plus 1. And uh, 2 plus 0 plus 1 is going to be? 3. 3. So that is our answer of multiplication. So now let's clear the board and we'll do another example. So the board is clear. And so far we have learned about these things. And we, have, we want to do another example of matrix multiplication. So in this example, I have matrix A. And matrix A has dimensions of uh, two rows and three columns. So it is 1, 1, uh, 5, minus 3, and 2, and 2. And we want to multiply matrix A with matrix B. And matrix B is uh, three rows and three columns. So matrix B is equals to uh, 1, 
one one. It has uh, obviously going to have uh, uh, three uh, rows and three columns. So it is one 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 two zero uh, three and five minus one and minus seven. Now we have to multiply these matrices. So first question is, can we multiply these matrices if they have valid dimensions? And what will be the result of our multiplication? So can you do this example yourself? Yes. So now let's try this example. Let me give you mic first. So let's begin. So let's first find out if the multiplication between A and B is actually valid. So we have to see the first matrix columns and the second matrix rows are the same, three and three. So this is, hence this is very valid. So now dimension C be two by matrix three. C. Matrix C, matrix C dimension will be two by three. So let's begin. Now we we'll multiply this, with this, and then this and this. So one multiplied by one, it is one. Five multiplied by one, uh, one plus five multiplied by one is five. So one plus five, and then two multiplied by one is two. So plus two. Now let's solve while we do everything. So one plus five is six. Six, seven, eight. Answer is eight. Now uh, let's do one multiplied by two. So which will be two. Five multiplied by zero, which will be plus zero. Two multiplied by three, which will be plus six. Now let's do the third one. Oh, plus, plus this. So two plus zero is two. 2 plus 6, 6, 7, no, 8, 8 once again, so now let's do the next one, uh, 1 multiplied by 5, which is 5, 5 multiplied by minus 1, which will be plus brackets, minus, no, yeah, minus 5. And then we 2 multiplied by minus 7, which will be plus 2 multiplied by 7, 14 minus 14. Okay, now let's do this one. So this will be 5 multiplied by minus 5, which is minus no, 5 plus. Yes. So 5 then 5 plus minus 5, which will be minus. So like, yeah, it will cut. So this will be 0 and then 0 plus minus 14, it will be minus 14, 0 minus 14 which is minus 14. So here it will be minus 14. Now let's continue on. Let's do the second row with all the columns. So 1 multiplied by 1 will be 1. And minus three multiplied by mine mi minus three multiplied by one, which will be minus three plus two multiplied by one, which is two. Now let's solve this. One plus minus will be minus. So one minus two minus one minus one plus two. One minus three is not minus one. One minus three to minus two. Yes. So it's mi so it's minus two minus two plus two zero. Now let's continue. One multiplied by two will be two minus tr minus three multiplied by zero will be zero, and then two multiplied by three will be six. So solve this. Uh, it will be six seven eight. Eight once again we got three eights. Now one multiplied by five and minus three multiplied by minus one 
which will be plus so plus 3 then 2 multiplied by minus 7 which will be minus 14 now 5 plus 3 5 6 7 8 8 plus minus 14 so 8 minus 14 a 4 5 6 6 and plus plus answer will go in minus now this is our answer now let now my father will check it on yeah it looks right to me so i think i'm very tired now and so this is it for this video see you next time high five bye